is, is this thing on? <coughs> <coughs> I'm making a game in Minecraft! Who cares? It's an action RPG with choice matters storytelling! Well, I mean, that's, that's pretty generic still. It, yep. It'll be fun! Oh, well, I, I mean, that, that sounds pretty cool. There'll be collectible custom modeled hats! <laughs> so, I'm making a game in Minecraft, and it's gonna be a big one. Let's talk scope. The game will be an action RPG with an emphasis on storytelling and exploration. This means big worlds that go miles deep. But I know it can be incredibly easy to set your sights too high and burn yourself out. Feature creep is real. Keeping that in mind, here's the plan. We'll make a short adventure showcasing the main gameplay mechanics. Imagine one single quest or dungeon. This would be in order to collect feedback on the core systems, while also getting you guys something you can play in the more immediate future. I'll learn a lot about developing the project during this phase, including how viable it actually is. From there, we'll adjust and prepare. Phase 2. A vertical slice is a snapshot of everything that will be in the game. This means feature complete, but not content. Imagine something like Skyrim, but with just Whiterun and the surrounding area. It'll also be not unlike Breath of the Wild's plateau. It's in this phase where we'll solidify the code and create a solid set of storylines and progression that'll show what the entire game will feel like. The demo is like a spoonful of sugar, but a vertical slice is a piece of the full cake losing none of the flavor. Okay, no more food analogies. During the vertical slice, we'll learn how to make the content, including the best methods and style for doing so. After phase two releases, we'll see if we can actually make the whole thing. This is a massive undertaking, hence the phases. Phases one and two are where we learn how to make the game, but phase three might be a bit too much for just me alone. This phase is where I might even consider getting a small team together. The size and scope of Phase 3's content will be entirely dependent on how efficient I can refine the processes and how solid of a blueprint we can make after learning from the previous phases of development. And if all goes well, we'll have a full action RPG made in Minecraft. So I've done a lot of talking, but where is it? Well, we're still in phase one, and it's very much a work in progress. Even the name is undecided, which is why I've dubbed it codename Project Riptide. For now, I'm focusing on laying groundwork. Sometime soon, I'll show you guys the dialogue system I've coded, making similar NPCs as that of the Elder Scrolls. No lollygagging. But don't go just yet, we're not ending the video, we have a new segment. Okay, okay, I know, I know it's not actually Wednesday. There, there was alliteration and in the. Give me, give me, give me, give me a freak, freaking break. Okay, let, 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 let's go. Hello, everybody. Today we have the world's first world building Wednesday. I know, I know, it's crazy. I, I know you're excited. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so what is World Building Wednesday? Well, even though it's not Wednesday, uh, we are going to be going over all things, well, world building. So, uh, things like uh, architecture, maybe uh, character concepts, uh, maybe enemy design, maybe we'll, we'll pull up some uh, concept art for enemies that might flash a couple on the screen. Whoa, what's that? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so... For today, we're just going to go over a basic farmhouse that I've built uh, as sort of a proof of concept of the kind of aesthetic that I want to go for. Uh, this is a weathered uh, rural farmhouse. It's got a windmill. I, I want to go for a sort of a steampunk aesthetic. Don't worry, we won't go too much on the building. I just want to show it off, show you the kind of color palette we're working with. Uh, it won't all be like this, of course, but this is just to give a sort of taste, uh, give a little peek into what the aesthetic and what kind of things we're going to find. But yeah, so I'm hoping to do a World Building Wednesday every episode. Uh, every episode will go over at least a couple things uh, that we've got going on in the background that might not uh, directly attribute to what, uh, what that episode is about. So, for example, say we're working on, you know, a dialogue system. Uh, well, at the end of the episode, we're still going to have a World Building Wednesday where we show off things like uh, custom weapon models, 
maybe buildings, uh, writing, maybe some world building, just like maybe we draw maps, right? Uh, things like that. I think it will be a lot of ffun. Keep a bit of a variety to these these devlogs, these episodes, and I hope uh, I hope you guys will enjoy a bit of a bit of world building on Wednesday. I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Links. Catch you later. Bye-bye.